everybody, we're here with Susan Hey Patrick, and she's here to talk about the school bond. So, yes. what can you tell everybody? Sure. Well, there are two bonds on the ballot this fall. It's a mail-in ballot that'll be in your mailboxes about the 13th of October. An $88 million elementary school bond and a $70 million high school bond to fix all of our schools. Technology, facilities, relief, uh, relieve overcrowding, make schools more safe. Yeah. So a great investment. So um, I heard um, that there are over 500 new kindergarten students that entered the MCPS school year this year alone. I know that within 10 years, every Missoula County Public School will be at or above capacity. I didn't hear that figure, but if you heard it, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I know that there are several sixth grades at Washington Middle School. Oh yeah, that's the one that I heard. Teachers are teaching in closets. I have a friend who's a teacher's aide who told me that there's a urinal in her office. <laughs> we need to expand facilities. We cannot have teachers and kids learning in bathrooms. No, and wow. like children are like our future. You know, education is so important. It's just like common sense, I would think. It is. We, you know, it's an expensive proposition. We understand that. But the average age of a Missoula County Public School is 57 years old. We haven't had a comprehensive facilities plan since 1952. So it's past time to make this investment in our kids, our schools, yeah. and our community. What would you say to some of the um, naysayers of this bond who say, oh, you already got, just got a brand new school. Wasn't it Cold Springs? Uh, Cold Springs will be rebuilt. It is um, basically one of the schools most in need of total renovation. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't it, or was it Lewis and Clark was the newest school? Like the newest actually, school. Chief Charlo, oh, Chief Charlo, and that's school. like twenty years ago, twenty years yeah, old. That's still. And you know, that's a it's a really great school, but the technology is still you know just one step above dial up. If you ever try to go online at any Missoula County Public School, it's really slow. It's preventing kids and teachers from learning. It's like if you and I didn't have blackboards and, and yeah. erasers. Huh. And so what, what kind of technology improvements do you guys want to do through this? Book? Well, internet access is a huge, broadband is huge. We have really, really clunky 20th century technology and we're 15 years into the 21st century. We have a really forward thinking, high achieving school district with doing all kinds of great things. Lowest dropout rate um, of any AA district. You know, kids are on fire with learning. We have to be able to meet them and prepare them for the future to yeah. be great citizens of our community, great workers. We're not doing that sufficiently now. And in, in, in like one of the other statistics that I recently learned is like, especially with the Native American population in Missoula as mm -hmm. well, that their dropout rate is like the lowest in the state. Yeah, in, yes. between, yeah. It, that Native takes Americans. a lot of that takes a lot of work. Yeah, that's awesome. And then so there's a lot of hardworking um, people trying to get this bond through. Who could, yes. you, who could you say that people get, can get in contact with about this? They can go to yesformissoulaschools.org. We're looking for people to endorse the bond so that the community knows it is so important. So yesformissoulaschools.org. They can donate. We're doing a big get out the vote effort because it is a mail-in ballot. That can be a, more challenging. And that takes money to door knock, to call people up, get people to the polls so they can donate and they can endorse and they can return their ballots promptly. Yeah, and I heard that a lot of people are doing this for free. A lot of people are going out there knocking yes. the doors yes. and they're doing this People like me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my next question is, are you guys hosting kind of like open houses to show yes. people the... Yes, if people go to the Missoula County Public Schools website, that's a great question, uh, MCPSMT. Uh, and you can get a list of open houses. People, when they see the schools, they will see firsthand how badly these bonds are needed. I mean, handicapped access, um, uh, crumbling infrastructure, yeah. uh, roofs that are leaking, mm -hmm. clunky internet access. Right, and there, I mean, even with the um, American Disabilities Act, that schools have to be up to code with this, right. otherwise they would get right. fined. We are not up to code in many of our schools, and, and neither is our heating and cooling. We still have schools that are heated with steam. The, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, the old <laughs> boiler tails from the Hellgate High School. Yes. I mean, our maintenance crews are doing a wonderful job of patching things together and really doing creative fixes. But really, we're, we're heating our schools with boilers from the 50s and 60s, and it's not efficient. It's a much better investment and return to the taxpayer yeah. by investing in these bonds. I think yeah. the most interesting thing that I saw was, it was back in the 90s, MCAT shot a little short video. This was for the, the very first, um, I think it's like uh, facilities bond back that okay. passed in the 90s. 
and they showed, um, I, I didn't know Big Sky High School had carpet. They had carpet <laughs> in Big Sky High School for so long, but then they replaced it all with like linoleum. Ooh, linoleum, um, yeah. Well, now if you're there on a rainy day, you have to step around buckets at Big Sky High School. Oh, do you? Um, yeah, there, that needs a new roof. And again, it's, it's past time to make these improvements. Yeah. yeah. Do you know anything about the um, architecture? Firm that we're with that um, MCPS is hiring for these jobs. I think they'll probably be hiring several. I would think um, so. As uh, if when the bond passes, I'm not saying if, I'm saying when the bond passes, they'll mm -hmm. move very quickly on a priority list of things that really need to be done, and they'll be putting things out to bid: construction, architecture, design. Great. Cool. And then, so where can people find more information about all of this? Investinmissoulaschools.org. Perfect. Great. Is there, uh, Wait, is there I got that else? wrong. Yes for Missoula Schools. <laughs> org. Yes for Missoula yes, Schools. Yes, both of them. <laughs> yes for Missoula Schools. org. Is there anything that uh, we're not touching base on? Like we talked about some of the facilities and um, what about let's see technologies? We've got what, technology what safety overcrowding. You know, in the yeah. day, I, I don't even like talking about safety because it's such a disturbing subject. But in this era of Columbine and Sandy Hook, we need to make sure that access to our schools is limited to the people who need to be there. Yeah. And we're not doing a great job of that now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Great. Is there anything else? Yeah, anything else that we I just to touch I on? just really hope the community understands the importance so. of this to our students, our schools, our community, our future. Mm -hmm. And I urge them to vote yes and go to yesformissoulaschools.org. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.